Best day for a baseball game. However, however, there will be a brand new baseball diamond in Appleton. And this one is really special. Allison's live with the details this morning. Allison, the rain. a little bit of rain there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit starting to come down this morning, but uh, we're still going to have a good day today because right. they're breaking ground for a brand new baseball field. You can kind of see it from behind my umbrella. Um, some dirt cleared for this baseball field for the Miracle League. So kids with special needs in the Fox Valley are going to be able to play baseball on this cool rubberized field. Uh, so really opening up opportunities for a lot of um, kids in our area. And we're with Bill Lecker, who's uh, the director of the Park and Rec Department. Good morning. Good morning. So we're at Memorial Park. How many baseball fields are here already? We currently have seven uh, baseball diamonds here. Okay, so how did the process get started to get this new one here? Well, a group of individuals interested in a Miracle League field came to the department a little over a year ago and, and asked us to start looking at the, the possibility of putting a, a field um, like the Miracle League field someplace in, in the community. So we began to look at different sites. We did a pretty extensive evaluation of the various sites around uh, the community that might work and ultimately ended up uh, with this particular site. We then took that uh, recommendation or that review process to the Park and Recreation Committee for review. Ultimately we took it to the City Council for approval. Uh, once the uh, concept of putting it in Memorial Park was approved, then we went back with the group, worked on a couple different memorandums of understanding that provided one, the uh, mechanism to to provide um, the details for the design and construction, and a second memorandum of understanding that provided uh, a long-term uh, fund to, to okay. take care of the facility. So it's not just as easy as saying, hey, we're going to build a field. There's a lot of work that There's a fair amount of that. review process and, and mm -hmm. due diligence that we have to do, but uh, they actually ran through it uh, fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it was just a little over a year ago that they really started, and here we are, groundbreaking ready and hoping to open in uh, less than a couple months. I mean, are you excited? Is this? Is, do you think this is a really good thing for the area? This is a this is a great opportunity for our community. Um, we're really looking forward to being a partner with uh, the Miracle League people because um, you know, certainly uh, we encourage everybody to participate in, in activities and certainly have this facility that will uh, provide uh, opportunity for kids with special needs to play baseball is, is just wonderful. We have a similar example right behind us at the Universal Playground where kids uh, with all abilities can participate in, in playground and, and we see that this uh, facility is going to be very similar. It's going to be very well received I think in the community. We're really right. looking forward to it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So you were looking at video from the Miracle League uh, up in Green Bay. It's great so video. really hoping to have something similar down here. They already have 60 kids signed up, but um, Lisa, who's the director of the Miracle League, told me this morning there are probably about 9,000 kids in the area that would be eligible mm -hmm. that have special needs that could play. So they're really looking for more people and more volunteers to help out. Um, so so you can go to fox11online.com, the Day Wisconsin page. We'll have a link there that you can find the info. But an exciting day, even right. though it's a little bit. The you know, word rainy. is out. It's fine. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Allison. <laughs> sure. Yeah, well, just bring the umbrella. You're fine. <laughs> yes.